a brand new kitchen, there really is nothing quite like it. It gives you the opportunity to inject your own style and personality and make it totally unique. But as gorgeous as this kitchen is, we are getting just a little ahead of ourselves. So let's rewind a couple of days and meet the homeowners and their old kitchen. Oh my gosh, is that the world's smallest doorway? It is. It's quite, <laughs> quite narrow, this one, but welcome, Tara, to our kitchen. Kate and Brendan have made a start renovating their first home, but they need a little help with the kitchen. What era? So I think it's about the 60s, yeah. um, and it's all in original state. I can't believe in these places how narrow. Look, everything's so proportionally small. Little, little low benches. Thank Look you. at the old oven. So cute. Does it still work? The element actually just died on a couple of days ago. So in an ideal world, if you could have anything at all, what would you have in your kitchen? I like more the country-style kitchen, a little bit vintage. I like the more modern ones with the like sleek lines and very finished tops. All right, well, I think we could compromise. I think it is possible to have a little bit of vintage and a little bit of modern. You can have both. This house is in total renovation state. Have you run out of effort or time or money? So we've been in here for two years now and we did start doing some renovations, but it all kind of came to a standstill <laughs> last year. Brenda and I had gone overseas and we were snorkeling and I was actually attacked by a shark. Are you serious? Yeah, so that kind of slowed us down a fair bit. You're obviously no fit state to work, so you need to come shopping with me. Maybe that means that you have to stay here and strip out the kitchen. Is that a deal? Oh. Brendan, have fun. Enjoy. Oh. We just need it all stripped out, everything done by the time we get back. No worries. Take it easy. So the good news is Kate has chosen a gorgeous blue. We're pretty happy with that one, aren't really we? Really happy with that one. The bad news is it doesn't come as a standard colour in all of these profiles. So what we need to do, Kate, is we need to choose one of these as a paint-your-own profile. Which are you think thinking? I quite like this one. Yeah? It's just got a bit of character. Now, I've already sent your kitchen plan through to Bromwen. Hi, Bromwen. Hi, how are you? Hello. Good. We're good. I think what's really upsetting me is this door at the end. It's just taking up all that space. My thought was, why don't we close in the door and then wrap the kitchen around? I think that's a really good idea. Can we see how that looks? Yeah, definitely. We can delete that door out. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's gone. I wish it was that easy. I think it'd be nice to have that bench space, because we've never really had much bench space before, so mm -hmm. having that would be great. The new layout leaves us with an unused area at the other end of the room. The solution, as I see it, is to maybe build a banquette seat, you know, one of those bench seats right across. If we wrap it into that corner, it makes really good use of the space. I think it'll look really nice down there. Now we've got a plan, we can go shopping. Sounds good. Right. Done. Thank you, have a good Thank day. You, you too. See ya. Okay, a lot of people are quite fussy about the way they cook. In terms of a stove, I like gas, but we can't actually get gas at our house. And our friend's a chef and he said induction's fantastic. Mm -hmm. So I was leaning towards going for induction. Let's put induction in. I think it's a really great modern touch. Yep. We need a range hood and we need an oven. I quite like the ones that are all in line here. I think they go in quite nicely together. Yeah, you like that? Almost I like mean, a set. And this one has a really nice handle. It's got that nice brush look. So if you're happy with that, yeah. I think that's the uh, the cooking area solved. I think so. Okay, so now we've got our beautiful floating floor. I really love this grain. Oh, can't resist. Little prezi for Brendan. He's going to oh. love this. Do you know what it is? It's a wallpaper steamer. Oh, you know all about it. <laughs> He'll love that. <laughs> wow. It looks so different. That's great. Everything's gone. Good job, Brendan. <laughs> Wallpaper stripping, I know you're good at it. Yeah, absolutely. All right, well, knock yourself out with that. Seeing as Kate and Brendan are sticking around, I might as well put them to work. Over the years, I've done my fair share of kitchen flat packs. Now, I know they can be a little challenging on a relationship, so I just want to see how together you guys are. Here you go. Instructions are inside. Good luck. No fights. This will be interesting. <laughs> Say that one's the bottom, and they're the two sides. Cut it from the back. <laughs> from the back. <laughs> All right. Down. Lots to go. <laughs> Quite a few. I didn't do too bad, though. Oh, hold on. Just before you do. Oh, sorry. 
While Scotty closes in the doorway, it's going to give me the full opportunity to be able to tile from the bench top all the way to the ceiling. It's going to look great. But it does still leave these areas of the walls exposed. So while he's busy doing that, you can get them primed up and ready for painting. Looks great. Very cool. What door? The new floating floorboards we picked up at Bunnings will eventually flow through the whole house, making the space feel bigger. This is what Kate's chosen, this fantastic floating flooring. It's kind of got a country Scandinavian sort of feel. Very simple, it just clicks in. Now you do need to lay this underlay first of all. It not only adds a little bit of cushioning, but it also helps to stop a lot of the sound and it acts as a moisture barrier too. This is a super simple floor to lay and it looks fantastic. 30 work is behind us in our custom kitchen makeover. We've got a blank canvas ready for our plan to come together. You've got to love a makeover and you know it is hard to believe that this is actually the same room, soon to be ultra modern kitchen. And doesn't it look so much better with that door sealed over? It gives us more kitchen cabinet options. And speaking of cabinets, well Kate and Brendan have been busy building so I'm going to start bringing them in. Great, you know. Cool. All right, well, if I leave Scotty to fix off these cabinets, I'm going to get some colour into this kitchen by painting those doors. You might be interested to know that you can actually buy covered doors naked. That means you can paint them and decorate them yourself. Now, being MDF, they will need to be primed all the way around. It is a labour of love to do this, but if you want that hand-painted kitchen and something straight out of the box and completely unique, definitely worth the effort. You might notice when you're painting some colours that they don't quite cover as well as others. Now with this particular blue, it comes off of what they call an ultra deep base. That's what they make up and put the tint in. The result is really, you'll just need to do a couple of extra coats than if we were to say use a soft pastel blue that has a lot of white in it. I'm really loving the strokes from the brush. Looks a little bit more like a genuine hand painted kitchen. Speaking of nice, our brand new bench top. Kate and I chose this. It has the look of polished concrete. It's a laminate bench. It's not bad for a modern look on a budget. While Scotty finishes off the bench tops, let's talk splashbacks. Now, for modern country kitchen, I don't think you can go past plain white tiles. And in terms of affordability, well, it really doesn't come any cheaper than these. Fitting a table and chairs into a tiny kitchen can be a challenge. So one of my favourite design ideas is a built-in seat, otherwise known as a banquette. Now they're pretty simple to construct. This one is just made out of MDF. I could have made it just straight, but instead I've added this little dog leg, which makes the best use of that corner space. And this one will also have hidden storage, so it's got lots of bonuses. It's pretty simple in its profile, so to tie in with the kitchen cabinet doors, what I'm doing is adding some of this trim. Once that's all on, you can simply prime everything, then paint it up to match. It fits! Never doubt it. Now you can see why I like these banquettes so much. Fantastic seating and storage in one. Brilliant idea for a small space. make these benches just a little softer, you could use some of those seat pads, the kind you use for outdoor furniture, or if you're handy with a sewing machine, you could of course whip up a couple of these. Looks cosy, huh? Just some scatter cushions in the corner. Not a bad perch. I like it. And you can never have enough storage in a kitchen, so on our new tiled wall, a couple of simple shelves will be a great place for storage and display. Two coats of paint have given the doors and drawers a rich, deep blue. The end result totally justifying the extra work for a unique look. Oh, custom colour, I love it. I've kept Kate and Brendan out of the kitchen while we had the finishing touches. Let's hope we've achieved the modern country look they were looking for. Wow. This looks so different. It looks so different. So good. That is amazing. I love it. all the blue. It all matches now. Oh, look, you've got a dishwasher. <laughs> <laughs> she said so casually. <laughs> That's for you. Wow. Are you pleased with closing off that doorway? Absolutely. Yeah, Best definitely. Best decision ever. That's given us so much more room and so much yes. more bench space, which is really nice. I'll be able to bake properly yes. instead of just having a tiny little bench. Yeah, it's a good use of space, isn't it? And speaking of space, 
What do you think of your new dining area? This is fantastic. <laughs> So you've got a whole window seat here and it's got storage inside. Who'd have thought that this whole scheme all started with those little canisters, the ones you love so much? I know, and I can see them over there. They look so good in my new country-style kitchen. Pride of place. That's right. So exciting. I can't wait to cook in here. <laughs> what are you going to cook? What's the first thing you're going to cook in this oh, kitchen? Be a lemon meringue pie. <laughs> I'm a bit impartial to your lasagna, though. That's pretty awesome. Oh, I'll stay for both. <laughs> <laughs>